I'm pissed. I'm super pissed. So the things that happen is... <sighs> I've played through this game about seven times. Fuck you. We're back here in this throne room. I've been away for a little bit. I calm the fuck down. And, um. I'm finally wanting to get this part at least done. This one part right here done, alright? I've been getting through this so many fucking times, but so many things have gone wrong every single fucking time. I wasn't able to do it. You could read through this. You could pause and then read if you want to read that. I'm not going to read it. I'm only going to read it later. But the thing is, I, everything's gone wrong. It's about my eighth time, I think. But recording it 30 minutes, about eight times, it's not fun. Realizing that you have to go back and do all over again. I, I don't want to do this. I really don't. Actually, now I think about it. Why, don't, why am I even continuing this series? Because of the fucking bet. And I don't want to waste 20 bucks. But I already know what's going on. I have a matter to attend to in private. Of course. Reo. I suppose it was about time. I need to prepare myself for what's to come. Reo. You can come out now. I should have gone with your rape warning. I'm not restarting. That's just something. That was my fault. Okay, it's not as you're raping now, mainly because I have my headset down low, but fuck it. I did not call you here to insult me. I didn't even look at the screen for that, right? I apologize, Master. Wait, thank you. Thank me. I bet that staff has something to do with it. I just want to bet things are going as we planned. We don't believe we are under suspicion. Is going well indeed. But of course it is, you have me. Also, my my question is, what is with your, your jacket? And it's something it like in it looks like a fucking shoelace through it. Is is that kinda like your style for you? Everything comes to fruition. Goodbye, and now back to the two fucked hearts known as Indy. Known as Indy and Conrad. It took a bit longer than I thought, but then we reached town. So the what society is like on Terra. Not, not what I expected at all. I'm taken aback. We eventually bombarded by beggars. They want our food and money for their own purposes. Seems like some kind of third world country. However, many of my men and Conrad seem unfazed. This is a normal occurrence for them. <whistles> Boy! We skillfully weave from side to side. The streets are busy and bustling with activity. Citizens try to sell us their wares with vigor. Most of the time, most of them were odd, but all of them were suspicious. I used to the I used the two assassins as a shield as well. We walked. I both stood behind a man between them. There's no place I wanted to get lost in, so I did my best to blend in with the locals. I did trust them enough to take care of me, especially the trouble they went through me, for me. I knew that I'd be safe as long as I stayed close. I turn a few I turn a few more corners. So much turning. I'm surprised we haven't ended up back where we started. They mentioned we're going to a tavern. Where for Wayfarer's Tavern. At least for at least two reasons. So my immigration papers and check our mail. I'm definitely glad to have these two men as guides. And we're if it were for if it were not for them, I'd definitely be lost. That's not something I need as the savior. Of course, before I continue thinking, it stopped. I come crashing and both like our backs embarrassingly. I don't want you. Sh I don't want you fucking near me. All right. You too, Andy. Please don't do that in the future. We're trying to attack on sudden contact. All right. Fuck off. Either way, I didn't mean to cause a scene. Shit, stupid. We're not just here for your papers. Yes. What about that actually? Checking the mail seemed like a good wait. You mentioned Lord Flair earlier, right? 
We need to ensure he loses the, loses the election. To that end, we hired a local mercenary to cause an uproar at his latest rally. We were able to turn it to his servant, and he seems like more and more seek his demise. Not sure I agree with these messages. They seem pretty dirty, but then again, these are assassins. The mercenary Kaelin was promptly arrested. We believe that the servant Kebu was as well. However, Kaelin's goal is to plant evidence. Evidence we will uncover during a visit. I've gone through this so many freaking times, I have this down by freaking memory. We are still on friendly terms with Polaire. He doesn't suspect us of his treason. But why did Kaelin have to be in prison? I'm not sure. The Osco has demanded it. The self injury won't be more efficient. Imprisonment can lead to several uh, problems. I don't know. I barely realized it, but we started walking again. I must have been too engulfed from talking to notice. Having Polaris trust is a major aspect. We're afraid to make a startling discover discovery. Just as soon as Kaelin plants the evidence, indeed. The failed Rotulo is also key. He brought several earthlings to Terra. We handed them to Polaire for immigration. We're definitely in his good books. We were able to continue unhindered. We couldn't hand you to Polaire, however. We need to be out blended in everyone. Get are we done? This is where we're taking you to the tavern. So long with handing in your papers, we're hoping to get mail from Galen. It'd be fair plan for the player scenario. Any moment to stop on their tracks again, it's this time since we arrived at the tavern. Alright, let's go into the fucking hash and keep a low profile. Yes, yeah, don't want to arouse anyone with attention. Y'all guys are about to. We can't have any conflict inside. Yeah, I don't want to meet Righty again. Take it from me. This place is busy. No shit. There are people here from other worlds. No shit. If you try not to stare. Try not to stare if you could do one thing. No shit. They take they don't take too, too kindly to a crying eyes. No shit. Roger that. Take a few minutes of the inner. I don't think anyone will like fucking to do someone to staring at me. You know? I I don't. I don't. I wanna get this done. As soon as we already get sense of the deja vu, I feel like I've been here before. I can't put my finger on it. And someone's coming. Nope. I'm surprised. Take a few steps forward. See my surroundings. This place is busy. See rage is coming with some comes at least I'll around. That's one man at a desk, suffering papers. Quickly approached by one of the workers. Hello, what brings you in? I blinked a couple times, I'm sure what to say. The young rabbit tilted his head and looked, looked behind me. Also, put a shirt on. Oh, you guys again? Can you buy at least buy some drinks this time? I have to make a living, you know. Put a shirt on. Hey, PB. Long time no see, buddy. PB, I'm not your buddy. You're really gonna break my heart? Just like that? Ouch. How about you buy some drinks, then we'll talk. I have an establishment to run here. Buy some, put a shirt on. I can press. I do like to come here. So easy to blend in with the crowd. Of course, we could be pretty poor. We don't always come money for drinks. PB sees us as a group of food workers. His name PB, like just two letters. He's like, it has a stand for some. And don't ask me what my name stands for. It stands for nothing, nothing at all. Haha, I know one day, I know it. Um, foreshadowing? What a ferocious little guy. He runs this place on his own. Hey, new guy. Stares in his eyes and calling me his Fendi. Allow me to welcome you. This is, my, this is the way fairs have a humble home, and I hate being formal. This is my bar, okay? I run this place. Why do you hate being formal? Maybe put on a fucking shirt and maybe you'll feel better about it. If you're old enough to drink alcohol, what are laws like on Terra? You opened about a decade ago. Since we exploded, since then we exploded in popularity. We're also at immigration office. I guess after a long journey, you need drinks. Man, I throw my own art. I'll kill you. Hmm. Oh, this little hothead. A fucking. I'll tell you. I'll tell you somewhat. This is probably the only time I'll ever agree with freaking Conrad. And I don't want to agree with Conrad. I really don't want to agree with Conrad. I am not little. Hmm. Comparing the size differences, like just on these two pictures alone, I actually think Conrad is probably bigger than you. I think he. I think the only thing that makes you look at least a little fucking taller is your goddamn ears. Like what the fuck? Not little. Yes, you are. Starts fuming. Looks like he's about to get violent. Before he can, someone steps in front of him. Whatever it is, keep him in line immediately. Fidget. Your name was. Oh, hey, Fidget. What's his name? No. no. The other rabbit with fidget shuffles nervously. Um, I thought maybe I would be mom. He gets so excited and you guess and come back to one day. No, not at all. No fidget. Not today, brother. Oh, okay. Besides, we're danger like that. We get in the middle of a conversation. I said, hey. You did say hey. Hands out to shake mine. He blushes and quickly pulls it away. He runs off. Interesting. Goodbye. Oh, sorry about that. That's my brother, fidget. He pulls it. He helps out as much as he can. His dream would be the best way to hear. He wants to make our mom proud. He, stu he studies under the current bar matrix. 
But to be honest, they're both terrible. And then it's just hard to turn down free labor. <laughs> Practice makes perfect though, right? Tell me the three of you. I need to sit down and have a chat. Please do table. Uh, oh, I'm so close. Hopefully this time. I'll get it done. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. One second. Before I do anything, I'm going to make sure. Will it be sent under an MP4 file and not an FLV file? Yes. MP4. Is the game recording? Nope. Get out of here, Zayn's. Is the game recording? Yes. The game is recording. I think we are good. Steady. How is the table looking down? We're just going to talk about repairs. <laughs> the table is silent because we're tired. We're tired. People stare. I'm fucking tired. Repairs? What are you talking about? Repairs. Repairs for the damages are too caused. Tavern brawls aren't clean, you know. You threw a poor guy across the room. You need to pay for the broken glassware. There's a huge dent in the wall, too. He points across the tavern. Sure enough, the wall is damaged. It looks rather fragile, though. It wasn't us. Of course it was. I saw it happen with my own two eyes. His body caused the dent. Oh, no. You're not talking your way out. Not not like the last ten times. Your mind games don't work. won't work anymore, guys. It's just something expected in our work. I don't care what you have to say. You're paying up. Now. We don't have the money. How convenient. I really mean it. Well, then, I guess I'll add our mentors. The cost of damage is tripled. That's not fair, PB. Neither is breaking my house. We're on an important mission this time. We'll be compensated greatly. Please just give us more time. Aren't you always on an important mission? Well, yeah, but none of this, none of haven't been important to this. We've been hired by the king himself. Is that so? It really is. Sit down across from the three of us. All right, start talking. Well, it's kind of confidential. Confidential is non-existent. You're obviously just buying time. The king would never work with silence. <sighs> no, please, no need to call him here. No, fucking neither one of you two look like assassins. Okay, Indy, Conrad, they do not look like assassins. Um, fucking this guy right here, fucking PB or whatever his name is. Then you got Fidget. They don't look like bartenders or whatever. And then who else is there? Rook, he does not look like, um, uh, he does not look like a, he does not look like, he does not look like whatever he's supposed to be. I feel a wonder while I explain I need for to hear this all again. I want to skip this so bad. There's no reason to say like I've heard this a million times right now, but I can't help it. No, this baby just broke up. I expect that I'm going to mention the word save. So I have to slowly start to walk away. Hear a few key words before I'm out of earshot. It was definitely telling Phoebe the same story you told me. I approach the standard of the tower with slight anxiety. My eyes are open as one of me. And not have someone walking up that fucking hallway and I hear that shit. I feel it too. I brought the center of the tavern with slight anxiety. All the eyes are upon me, watching me. Normally this would be scary, but it feels different. Does truly say about all these people? Not what I, what would I do to help them exactly? I knew I only knew little of the power within me. Wasn't quite sure how to use it to save, it to save Tara. The only king would be able to tell me all of this. I didn't see any my Indyman and Conrad as the type to lie. It's more like they weren't given all the information. That worries me in the, in and of itself, but I shrug it off. So secret that they haven't even they haven't been told. Like they were like the left and right of the hand of the king. I scanned a bar one out of time, making eye contact. People quickly turn away as in as, as if in fright. Shit, a forlorn look on their face, in their eyes. I can tell the life for them is less than stellar. I said it right this time. I said it right this time. It's stellar. Got it. That fills me with determination. Changes for all. One day they feel the face. Ooh, uh, I speak to the king. I'll probably go to the yard. We need to discuss our next move pretty quickly. I guess so. I guess the only thing I can do now is wait. I don't want to talk to Fidget and Trish. 
Uh, oh, uh, to the barmaid. I haven't seen any others. I decided for them for the time being. You probably better stick with familiar faces. And I gotta talk with a fucking pony. Again. Again. Sorry, Chris. I was just doing a whole TV talk, mate. Let's not forget about important facts. Remember? Okay, yeah. I'm just gonna. Just doing my own thing. Y'all could read this if you want to. <laughs> Ouch. Here, Trish. Hmm? Los local master barmaid. I want to teach my trade on side. Bitch is my latest student. Your clothing should not match. Master Barmaid is upset for termination, sure. I bet it was. Something tells me this place is gonna end horribly. I have flashbacks of Rook teaching Jade his humor. She doesn't clean up. She doesn't clean up the broken glass. Instead, she just takes a few steps to the side. Wow, I'm not sure how to take that. TG Fidget could be the best. He wants to make some all super rack. That is when she comes back on me. We're gonna be the best barmaid ever. You mean bartender? When mom comes back, she won't recognize me. I think he means bartender. Barmaid is the female nomenclature. What do you mean? What did he mean as I come back? Did PB and Fidget know they go somewhere? Trish reaches out and pets the top of his head. He perks up and looks incredibly happy at this. Uh, no, we, we, we are not having this, alright? They both just forgotten about the broken glass. I hope he comes back soon. <laughs> I've been waiting a really long time. Trish, that's out of nervous deal and looks at me. She takes out another glass and starts cleaning again. The fuck? <laughs> so what brings you here? That's all I came with to those two men. People say they attract trouble. I laugh nervously as well, but for a different reason. I told her about it. They're taking me to meet the king. I'm going to check out their mail, filing my papers. <sighs> Where to? Whoa. Well, you're going to meet the king. I'm so jealous. Can I come with you? I haven't seen him since I was a kid. Maybe he'll know where my mom is. Fidget, calm down. Don't be like that. It's rude to impose yourself on others. You should apologize to Ash. How do you know my name? Oh, sorry. I thought you got a little excited. I thought he might know where mom is. He's, he's so old, he knows all sorts of things. Um, So far, pretty much the only button I've pressed is space for like the last hour. Alright, so SCP Containment Breach is coming up immediately after this. Alright, so, because I do not want to play the next part of this game. I want to get this part over with, because I've been working, trying to get this done for two fucking days now. Maybe fucking three, maybe this goddamn month, I don't fucking know. Feel bad as a warrant for Trish to say, really sad to get a little mother dedication is something you have to respect nowadays. If situations were reversed, I'd have to, I would have asked too. So they're checking the mail. I see that involves chatting with PB. She tilts her head in the direction I came from. I see PB yelling and flailing his arms around. Looks like he's lecturing them pretty fiercely. He gets like that often. He flies off the handle so easily, but you gotta learn to love it, I guess. Any men in encounter, I proceed to wave me over. I cut the conversation with Trish and Fidget short to let them know that I'll continue your waiting. I had too many questions to just, to just stand them up. Like, where did Fidget's mother go, for example? I want to learn more about the tavern as well. I'm pretty only from a non biased source, so I don't believe that Fidget and Trish know my identity. They treat me just like anyone else in here. I can't say the end of my any men encounter. They're definitely biased in their service of the king. Yet, I'm still unsure how this affects the situation. I'm good. You know where to find us. Um, I don't want to find you. Yeah, and the heaping pile of broken glass. Walk towards any moment, Connor and PB. Walk out of the corner of my eye. Um, see the big guy. Scope out my route and quickly intercept me. They almost there. They don't want me to get there. Normally, I've been surprised, but not today. I've constantly been bumping to people as of late. I stop my tracks so I don't come crashing into them. Crashing into them. For a moment, I'm glad I did. This man is massive. He could probably rip me into sheer, rip me in half to sheer strength. You looks down at me. Suddenly, I'm filled with fright. Yeah, I bet you are. Your friends talk loudly. Yeah, I don't want to get my head, but I'll second you. I quick, kindly, kindly back the fuck up. Your friends talk loudly. They want to hide your role as the savior. Their volume contradicts this desire. His voice is very deep. His accent is thick. Actually, kind of reminds me of a friend I had back when I was fucking working at a camp. <laughs> Except he wasn't a fucking bear. Where he's from, he's not from around here. 
wasn't a fucking bear. He was not a bear. Tell them to keep their mouths shut. They can get him in very big trouble. They're otherwise easily avoided. Gives his axe as, as if to threaten me. If a time like that comes, I'll be there. I have to protect and exchange for money. This is when I'm not big and BB. Him and his brother need constant watch. And I saw my services in my spare time. You know where to find me, Hash. How do you know my name? Yeah, I, okay. As I said last time. Fucking you guys don't know what I'm talking about. Last time, I said him. I kind of understand how he would know my name. Possibly in a way. Um, because he overheard them. So this is Guardian PB and Fidget. This must be PB who get involved later. This is the case. I don't want any of my items. I understand that PB items. Any of my items. Free action. Fuck. I don't care. Who said it? Who said it? Oh, sorry for not introducing myself. Be a little bit out of place over here. Go to the right side. You fucking faggot. That's better. You can call me righty. I run a mercenaries guild here. I'm sorry. I have a feeling he's going to be on the right side of the screen for the entire game. Whenever he's here, he's going to be on the right side. That is going to be the only time he's going to be on the left. Or is he going to have a twin brother named Lefty? He sends his arm to shake mine, or do so in turn. His grip is more than firm. If he tried, he could easily break my hand. I know here is a protector. My service is a costly but worthwhile. I got people to gather along, along their paths in life. I'm not sure I heard everything, but your passing is uh, quiet and around this one. So I'm sure you benefit from my help. You should keep your identity more secret. Any men encounter I have been loud about. You can attract a certain kind of person. Those who would hold you for rats. Oh, three. Do other unimaginable things. No. No. You're not coming in here, whoever that is. Is that my cat? You're not coming in here. Can't be the only one who over here, so you must assume that other people know. To that end, I have a, pro a proposition. Meet me in the wine cellar whenever you can, and they'll make sure to come, al come along, right? You need to be away from some watchful eyes. Without another word, he walks off. The large steps shake the floor beneath me. My heart is being beaten like a drum. I don't think I've ever seen a man so imposing. I continue walking over ND, Conrad, and PB. I'm still getting out. Still, I'm gonna get interrupted again. I have a habit of bumping around random people lately. So I see you met Reddy. Always eager to sell his services, but at least he's able to make money. PB glares at any mime and Conrad. And I fucking speak your fucking rap god over here. I don't fucking care. Hey, you said you'd be okay with waiting, unless you just can't just can't con the story out of us, and that wouldn't be co or cool at all, PB. Oh yeah, the savior. My gu my guarantee for prompt reservations. I hope you for sake that the story is true. And then I'll get my money like they promised. I'll get ready involved for your pretty quick, and he's not kind of those who cross me. Hey, now there's no need for that. We have no reason to lie. We mean it. I guess we'll see, won't we? PB trots off towards Trisha Fidget. I wouldn't be surprised if he yells at my next or if he accidentally steps on the broken glass carpet. So that was righty. We kind of almost worked with him. He was gonna be who's gonna be the third assassin. As you can tell, it didn't work out. He branched off to form his own unit. I guess you say he's our rival. Fight against more often than not. He steals a lot of our business. You know, with us having to kill someone. We sell services to protect them. That's why I haven't killed anyone lately. That's why he's gonna give us dip he's giving us different work. The kind like the player scheme in you. I don't think, I don't, I'm not sure what Ratty wants with you. He probably sees you as a chance for money, but they'll, but like those types of people, but I don't like those types of people. Bet that, I bet that he wants you instead. Fellas, but promised lots of money. And that amount of Ratty could never deny. Be wary of whatever, he, be wary of what he tells you. His ultra goal can be super fraud. That is, okay, I have to say, that does not say sabotage. This is super fraud or something like that. He'll frighten you feeling vulnerable, and that's how he'll get, give you his. Get, that's when he'll give you his pitch. He's a great salesman, that's for sure. But Conrad and I, on the other hand, we have nothing to hide from you. We want to meet you by all means, but I haven't been able to check in the meantime. As well, some of your papers to file. I suppose I'll be seeing you later then. Just be here twiddling my thumbs. I don't get involved in anything fun. I'm not. I mean that not not that checking mail is fun. Only 25 minutes. Okay, we're gonna be we're gonna be cutting this one short. Oh, one more thing, though. If Roddy wants to team up with us, tell him to go find his own savior. He's always out there to get some money. If you pretend that's not the case, but he'd better be able to mend things with us. And at that point, I'd laugh in his face. That's business. We're rivals. We're not doing anything with that man again. I 
and odd. I wasn't aware of the history like this. But suddenly some of their actions made sense. It seemed like everyone was related in some way. They all had passed and intertwined with one another. Started walking the same direction as Righty, hoping that his cellar would be easy to find. Sure enough, it actually is. I see a large wooden door with drawing tape to it. It's a cartoon bot a cartoon white bottle with arms and legs. Upon applying close inspection and a wide beaming smile. And the corner says, This is my best friend, and the new says signed by Fidget. That's cute. Perhaps I'll compliment him later. No thanks. I don't want to. But now I'll be a Accomplishments of importance. Fuck. I open a wine cellar and begin my descent. My mind fills doubts what Roddy could want. Would you like to save your game? Yes, I would love to save my game, even though I probably already saved it. <laughs> Three. <laughs> okay. I'm done. Oh my god, I actually finished this. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, yada, yada, yada. I understand this is probably a very boring video, but I'm going to get it fucking done, alright? I'm just going to get it done.